Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map, and I just wanted to show you this new deck that uh, was sent to me. I just picked it up from the post office today. It takes forever <laughs> for the post to get to me from America, but here we are. I'm going to just lift it up a little bit more maybe so we can see. Um, it's called the Rainforest Wisdom Oracle. Listen and heal. So it comes with um, this beautiful box and I, I just I fell in love with the colors to be honest you know it's not really that I need another oracle deck right I just totally um, fell in love with the green and I also thought um, about something and that I actually have no personal connection to the rainforest when I think rainforest, I think South America. I've never been there. I only been to rainforests here in Poland um, and in Australia. Um, but uh, what's interesting about it is that I've never been to the you know jungle or rainforest of South America. And I thought that as usual, tarot cards or oracle cards um, give us an opportunity to study and learn a little bit more about various things in life. So this is Rainforest Wisdom Oracle 52 card deck and a guidebook and it's created by Annie Catabrita Alosa. Um, the box is gorgeous. In general, the, um, this is the quality is beautiful. So that's, um, this is the little booklet that comes with it and you get introduction how the species guide us working with rainforest wisdom all the cards 52 how we can help conserve the rainforests and about the author uh, so here we have i'm just wanting to check how we can help uh, conserve conserve the rainforest avoid palm oil and products that contain it avoid fast food, beef, and eat less meat, buy sustainable coffee, minimize our carbon footprints, donate money to rainforest organizations. And uh, she's listing uh, some of the reputable rainforest conservation organizations. Uh, so here we are, that's, that's her, Annie. And uh, 52 cards, as I said, beautiful quality. Look at the gilding. It is actually not a gold gilding, but it has this deep um, green, um, fresh green color. Uh, 52 cards and um, how am I going to do that? Let me just move it even a little bit more. Now we can bring it a bit closer. I have this beautiful pomegranate here. I love the color. So I'm just going to go through the cards. So when it comes to the quality, um, these are the backs and it's just beautiful, vibrant tones of green. And as you can see, the artwork is fairly bold, which I also enjoyed. You always get a keyword and you get a name of animal, plant or um, insect and so on. Um, and they all, of course, come from the rainforest. And um, to me, it was really yeah, interesting because usually, you know, when you get, uh, when I get an animal deck, um, I tend to choose decks with animals that I have some personal connection with, that I know that I had contact with, or at least I've, you know, they live in my surroundings. Uh, in this deck, I seriously, I, I've never been, as I said, to rainforest to South America and or even rainforests in Asia, you know, just like on the outskirts. So some of them, I know a few of the animals, but most of them are totally new for me. So it's a really kind of interesting that I don't have any personal uh, connection to these animals and plants. So I'm going to be definitely using the guidebook. What I like about the guidebook that she gives you, you know, her kind of um, keywords for, uh, for, for the card, you get card meaning and then you get questions for self-inquiry. That's always my favorite part in the books. I really love the questions. And then also what's really wonderful, she gives you some information about the animal or the plant, um, which I think it's really cool um, that you can actually learn something 
from using this deck as well so let's just go through the cards um actually <laughs> before i go there i just want to show you the difference in sizes so this would be um this would be the um shit sorry okay this would be the size difference so that's the tarot regular tarot card so it's um, a little bit wider and a little bit taller but not too much it's still for my hands fairly comfortable to use no um you know no issues in shuffling and this gorgeous gilding so let's go we have um again this green fra frame which is kind of cool because uh, the artwork goes out of this frame and as i said keyword and the name of the animal uh, so i'm curious how many of you are in contact with some of these animals or some of these plants um, as i said i'm not really having too many you know personal connotations uh, with them so i'm just open to learn a little bit more the artwork is bold the colors are bold so it's a pretty cute deck um, to you know mix with other decks as well it gives a bold statement um, the keywords are very kind of um, general i would say quite open sometimes it's difficult to get the right keywords for the oracle decks I actually really enjoy you know reclaim because it has also the so-called negative um, keywords which I um, you know enjoy this one is much more kind of nurturing um, positive supportive from what I can see and as I said fairly general so not kind of very specific keywords more of those open ones like presence trust ingenuity teaching balance so I think it's better suited for like the general umbrella for a reading, let's say, and then you could probably zoom in. And um, especially I think it might be interesting with the questions and also with maybe uh, certain behaviors that she hopefully describes about the animals. And uh, when she shares the information about animals or plants, uh, that we can actually um, learn something and maybe symbolically, you know, see it also in our lives so I'm just going to pull us one card I love these plants they were growing in Australia and the little hummingbird so I will throw us one uh, card and we'll see I can't remember when I <laughs> where I started I think with piranhas so let's uh, well let's pull one card for us and see communication with Tukan um, so now with Tukan I think it's um, alphabetically yay so Tukan is 174 174 let's see what we can find out about communication that's communication also transparency and truth so Tukan arrives in our reading to reflect our desire to be heard. He encourages transparency and open communication. I guess in our times that's, um, that's a very important message. Tukan asks us to speak authentically about our feelings and experiences in the world. He asks us to share our stories, speak out about what we believe in and be vocal about things that are important to us. This may be this may mean being brave and stepping out of the shadows with authenticity and visibility. Tukan will show up to reflect back to us our unhealthy patterns of keeping our truth inside ourselves and reminds us we deserve to heal by using our voices. He asks us to allow ourselves to share whatever we are holding inside that needs to be inside that needs to be said. He encourages a source, a soldier's just our trepidations and reminds us that our stories could be the medicine others need to heal themselves um, and these questions for self-inquiry is it time to share something about myself I've been holding back from the world and we could you know we could always um, 
pull another another card is it you know is it time to share something about myself that i've been holding back from the world solitude is it time for solitude um, maybe i should share more that i love solitude and i love hanging out in my own company i don't know and do i struggle with saying how authentic uh, often authentically think how do i struggle with saying how i authentically think or feel in the moment i don't think so but and i think with bamboo as a growth i don't think i am how can i speak my truth in regard to my question so if you had a question we could pull another card bravely breakthrough is there a cause i care deeply about how can i activate my voice to advocate for this cause um, a routine i think seeing the sacred in the ordinary that's what i would advocate for and what can we learn about toucan right so um i like this toucans are known as particularly vocal birds in fact they are one of the noisiest creatures in the rainforest the vocalization suggests that they are not too concerned about predators finding them. Toucans build their nests inside of tree hollows created by other animals. They have sharp, strong claws um, and the largest bill to body ratio than any other bird in the world. So huge bill and sharp claws. Their wings don't travel far, so they mostly hop around the trees uh, searching for food. Their long, lightweight bills are made for ke of keratin and help them reach fruits inside of holes. So that's the symbolism of the communication. And um, maybe to finish off, I'm going to just sound the throat chakra bell. And this is the beautiful rainforest wisdom, listen and heal. So if you're in need for something of something green, that can be it. So thank you for watching and I speak to you soon. Bye.